Hello everyone, so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session I will discuss the uh, mon message CPF message IDs that is CPF 0000 and versus CPF 9999 so let me switch to the green screen so I have a program where I will be demonstrating this let me open that so basically you can handle the message uh, errors in your CL program using the mon message uh, message IDs so basically you can either use the individual IDs like this or you can handle the multiple uh, IDs like this and you can hand handle the uh, generic messages for let's say uh, CPF starts with 98 uh, Nine it starts with nine eight, so you can uh, use this most mon message ID CPF nine eight zero 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 basically, and to get the more generic messages, you can use the CPF zero 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 zero. So basically, uh, the messages starts with CPF all are handled with the generic messages like CPF zero 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 zero. But uh, what in case if uh, any message ID that occurs that is not in this list? So let's say you are you have this program where I'm passing one parameter and then using that parameter in one of my command uh, checking that parameter in one of my command so basically I am during call I am not passing this command so I'm not getting this message IDC starts with CPF something so basically so any message ID that is unhandled uh, and this unhandled with the CPF 0000 will come to the list of or will uh, and the system will basically sense it as CPF 9999 so basically and the more more message message ID this is much more generic than this one so you can use either you can use this one now let me show you this example that how this uh, check Transform to the CPF 9999. Let's save it. Now compile it. Let's debug it now. Just cause this. So you can see I have not passed the parameter here. So pointer not set for reference location. So once this command executed, you will see the error that this is not handled. Now the program ends. So you can see uh, this two DSP job log here. F10 shift F6. So basically, you can see that pointer not set for location reference that is MCH3601. Just copy it. So that's an escape message and that is MCH3601 and that's not handled with the generic message ID the CPF0000. So just go back. So you can see that uh, function check occurs. So basically, uh, CPF 99 any function check went to the CPF 99 so you can see function check this unmonitored by CPF that is the program name at statement this instruction this an escape exception message was sent to the program which did not monitor for that message so basically this message is now transformed or converted to the CPF 9999 by the system so this was unhandled so this way you can see that this uh, message was unhandled and this was converted to the CPF 9999 so what you can do is either let's say you can handle this generic message ID here or what you can do is you can do much better 
if you want to do much more generic handling like state for here you will be using Gram is compiled now. Uh, we will debug this again to see if this issue is all now. We will call this again without passing the parameter. So now you can see that this was handled and there is no such error occurs now. No escape messages. Again at this point too, the generic message handling was done. So no escape messages. We'll check this again in the yes, job log. So you can see this time we did not, we did get this pointer not set for the location effects, but we did not get the CPF 9999 that we got earlier that is function check so this so this way you have handled this CPF 9999 so you have to be more specific uh, when the uh, when you think that any message ID that occurs that does not lie in CPF or that does not start with CPF then you can handle that so that basically transforms into CPF 9999 so that's what the difference between the CPF 000 versus CPF 9999. So uh, one more example I can take uh, like uh, let's say a program. Uh, the main program, the program 1 and program 2 let's say. And we are calling program 2 from program 1. And any occur that occurs in program 2, the calling program from program 1 and any escape message that, that returns to the program 1 from while calling program 2 that will again transform to the CPF 999 so that is again unhandled so that's basically the sense or tells the call that some unhandled exception occurs in the calling program so that's why that message transforms to the CPF 999 so you can try that so uh, this is these are the examples where you can see that how CPN 0000 or CPF 9999 things uh, works. So uh, that's all in this video. Thank you and have a nice